As trains are prone to be, Baker's was late, but the hundreds of supporters gathered to meet him didn't seem to mind the wait. Rolling in to the tune of the Wabash Cannonball, Baker was joined on the back of the train by his wife Joy and son Derek, along with Republican gubernatorial hopeful Lamar Alexander, Public Service Commissioner candidate Tom Jensen, State Senator Ray Albright, State Representatives Bill McAfee and Bill Carter, Democratic State Senator Ed Black, and Chattanooga Fire and Police Commissioner Gene Roberts, who acted as Master of Ceremonies. Baker was concise in his remarks, summarizing quickly what he had to offer. Now, my friends, when you elect me, when you re-elect me to the Senate of the United States, I pledge to you that I will devote every ounce of my energy, every breath of my body, to see that these three things are attended to in the public forum. First, that we control prices by reducing federal spending and federal deficits and federal taxes. Second, that we return to a moral strength that made this nation great. And that we're no longer ashamed of our religion and our philosophy in public life. And third, that this nation always under God stays so strong that it will not only be able to defend itself against any challenge, but it will continue to be the leader of the free world. Not all the supporters in the crowd were Bakers. Several Jane Eskin signs appeared among those for Baker and other Republican candidates. Baker made no mention of his opponent's supporters. After the formal speeches, there was time for autograph signing and abbreviated relaxation. Tonight, the Republicans gather at Hamilton County Park for a victory celebration. For Tri-State Report, I'm Dale Pendellis.